Donald Trump was poised on Monday to sign a new executive order banning travel from certain Muslim-majority countries, a senior White House source was quoted as saying. The new order, replacing an earlier version that was blocked by federal judges, will exclude Iraq from the blacklisted countries, but continue to block entry to the U.S. for citizens of Somalia, Sudan, Syria, Iran, Libya, and Yemen. It will also clarify the status of people from these countries who have already received U.S. green cards, specifying that they are not affected. Tens of thousands of legal permanent residents were left in limbo by Mr. Trump's previous order. The official told the Reuters news agency the new order will maintain the 90-day duration of the original ban. The first travel ban, which included Iraq was widely condemned in part because it appeared to target thousands of Iraqis who risked their lives working as translators alongside U.S. troops after the invasion of Iraq in 2003. But many contentious elements of the ban, not least the fact that it still appears to discriminate against Muslims, will remain in force. More than two dozen lawsuits were filed in U.S. courts against the original travel ban and the state of Washington succeeded in having it suspended by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals by arguing that it violated constitutional protections against religious discrimination.